Hi there, my beautiful Capricorn Aquarius. Welcome into your reading. So today we're going to be talking about November. And I was actually going to say October. So maybe October or something that happened in October uh, will have some sort of uh, continuation for November. But we'll have a look and see what comes up. But we're going to look at your career, your love life and anything else you need to know. Okay, starting here with some overall energy. And by the way, if you're interested in getting... Uh, this exact reading, as you see it here on YouTube, but personalized for you, you can find that on Patreon, on the Look Mama, I'm Flying tier, and on the beginning of every single month, you will receive an email from me uh, with your personal reading, okay? So, let's see here, what do we got? The link is going to be down below if you're interested. We also have others, um, other uh, readings that are exclusive, so definitely have a look if you're interested. Let's see, we have Scissors, Disappointment in Some Affair. Okay, we have Valley, deep personal strength and peace that assures success. We have man, dealings or relationship with a man. We have Fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Uh, we have April here and we have Crib, birth or consumption of a child or enterprise. This is actually me, this is giving me such big pregnancy vibes. I don't know why, <laughs> but I feel like perhaps for some of you, hey, uh, I mean, if you don't want it, then be a little bit more careful. But this may be telling you a little bit of a hint, okay? Um, and if you've been trying or if that is a desire, then I feel like that is a very likely possibility, okay? But birth of, or conception of a child or enterprise. So this could obviously also be talking about business and career. Um, we also have this shrewdness or resourcefulness, uh, especially in business. So I feel like there's something about reutilizing something. Um, and especially with this disappointment here in some affair, I even wonder if there is something that is not completely working out as you expect, or it's taking a bit more time, or there are a few issues that show up. And I feel like you're able to adapt very easily when it comes to your um, career. So if something doesn't really work out this month for you, don't see it has, um, and maybe it didn't work out in October and you were expecting it to, don't see it has failure, don't see it has, oh, it's done, I should give up, or I should move on to something new and better. I feel like it's more about adaptation. I feel like it's about reshifting a few things and seeing things from a different perspective, I feel. And I feel like that is going to uh, give you a little bit of a broader look and I feel like it's also going to help you reach the success okay because I feel like with this valley deep personal strength and peace that assures success um, it's almost like you're now going down and the thing is you're going to find the success in the valley right in the the bottom of the of the thing so I feel like it's by something not working out and you having this resourcefulness and ad adaptation and um I don't know, making adjust, uh, adjustments, I feel like that is going to be very helpful and you're going to find that success because things didn't work out, okay? So essentially what I'm trying to say, um, if something doesn't work out, see it has the path towards success, okay? Adapt, don't give up, adapt, change a few things, learn from the things that didn't work out, learn from the delays, okay? But do know that I feel like something is blossoming here and maybe with this new shift and adjustments and all that maybe by april you'll have uh, a functioning business or a functioning whatever okay and again i feel like for some of you there's some baby here okay but let's dive deeper into this and see what we got we're gonna start here with career and then we're gonna move into love okay we have take a break a life's work not a season get off the treadmill and we have the initiation rite of passage crossing the threshold there we go so I feel like this is exactly that valley thing. I feel like it's this way. I really feel like there's some disappointment here. Something that maybe you're understanding that it's not the way to go. And again, I feel like for some of you, you could be tempted to give up. I don't think that is the case. I don't think that is a, uh, the thing that you should be doing here. I feel like it's really about, okay, what if instead of do this, what if I do this? And it's all about keeping calm. So if you do need to take a break, to think things through, to feel more inspired. Because I feel like when we are chaotic and we are overworked and burdened, we, our brain tends to kind of be stuck a little bit. So sometimes we do need a break. And I always remember this. Sometimes I would have my mom with accounting. 
and we would do like I don't know the terms because I'm not an accountant but uh an accountant but there was this thing that I call like the uh, soup of numbers where we would have to find like two numbers and that kind of thing and sometimes we would be like they're looking at the numbers and and trying to figure out okay but where is it like I don't find it and then you would go and just go to the bathroom just go for a walk just go do something else you would come back at it and it would be like duh it's here like how have I not seen it before I feel like it's a little bit like this so if you feel like you don't have a solution you don't have a way out of this you don't see how you can um, you're not feeling creative enough to adjust and adapt, take a break. Maybe this is just about like go on a weekend off and go on a trip, right? Go spend a little night at a hotel if you can. Uh, go spend some time with your children and, and just have fun and a picnic in a park, right? Do something that will kind of break the routine and will break your brain <laughs> in a good way. Uh, and I feel like once you do, you'll find this rite of passage and you're crossing the threshold for something new, okay? So let's pull some terror into this to see what do we got. But I really feel like don't get disappointed if something doesn't really work out as you expected it to, okay? It's not something bad, all right? It's okay for you to be disappointed because you had high hopes for it or you really wanted it to go in a certain way, but use that Aquarius energy to break the routine and find innovation even when things are not working out, okay? Yeah, so it's a bit of, of what we were talking about. To be honest, I feel like it's not... Something that I'm picking upon is that it may not be the right time for something because you're uh, not you. It's like the right people are not in its place yet. That's kind of what I'm getting uh, or something about like it's not the right times. Like if if things were to work out like you were imagining it uh, today, it would go even worse than things not working out. <laughs> you know, I hope that makes sense. I feel like um, you would be quite disappointed if things happened the way you were imagining it. And sometimes we just need to focus on the end goal um, and not necessarily on how you're going to find it and how you're going to get to it. Like you, you want to be a doctor, let's say. Don't think about getting into that specific university, into getting into that specific hospital, into that specific clinic. Think, I want to be a doctor, so I'm going to do whatever it takes for me to be a doctor. Whether that is going to university A or B, I don't care. I'm going to apply to both. Both are great. So I'm going to apply to both and see what happens. And I really wanted to go to A. But there in A, that is the thing of the people, right? There in university A would be teachers that were not aligned with you. Teacher that that would be really like hold school and... Um, I don't know, they, they, they didn't update their software, <laughs> internal software, and they don't have this feeling of innovation that your cusp needs, and the feeling of, I don't know, maybe it's someone that is really cold, and you're more of an um, empathetic person, and you, you don't really connect with their approach, but in University B, it's the people that are really aligned with you, that is the thing, you want to be a doctor, focus on the end goal, not on how you're going to get there. Okay, same thing with companies, same thing with uh, clinics, hospitals, whatever applies, okay? And I feel like once you're able to let go of this, um, we have the seven of wands and the ten of wands. So there is this feeling of resistance and push and pull and burdens. I feel like right now for you to see the way out, you really need to take that break uh, and think things through. Maybe let go a little bit of expectations and that um, desired outcome that you were hoping for try to create a blank canvas, okay, and once you do, I feel like the resistance and everything really, like, just goes away, and you're able to find all of this beautiful success, okay, king of cups, two of cups, the chariot, uh, this is truly connected with your heart, this is a lot of success, assured success, right, when you are in the valley, um, we have the king of cups, so I feel like you're going to be in a very happy place, you're going to love where you're going to be. So keep an open mind, okay? Keep an open mind. Let's see here. What are your advice? I'm bringing your manifestation. So there you go. Like the manifestation of becoming a doctor, it's there. It's it's happening. And as I say that, the, the card uh, shows up. It's happening, okay? But 
don't think too much on how it's gonna happen okay i feel like that is gonna be the biggest part because you are in line with your higher self you are in line with this new uh beginning okay but there is a lesson here learn it and i feel like it's about trusting your guides in a way i feel like it's truly about um i feel like it's truly about understanding the ebb and flow of the universe and its requirements for something to work out because the universe and your guides, they don't want to give you just anything. That's where the don't settle comes in. It's like they don't want to give you just anything. They don't want to um, provide you with just any opportunity. They want to provide you with the right one. The one that is aligned with you. The one that really makes sense to you. Um, and to do that, sometimes you have to get a bit disappointed. Because that is it. Sometimes you have the idea of something and that is not the reality of something. Okay? So I feel like that is the case. I feel like you have an idea of something uh, and again, in the future, it may work out, but some people need to walk away, uh, some, maybe you need to transform, um, and I, I feel like it's just really about trusting, okay, and keeping the doors open, all right, because maybe while you were keeping the doors open, and you're kind of distracting yourself with so many options and possibilities, the A, which was your first choice, may actually change a few things, and you're gonna get uh your desired path okay but first some things need to get figured out so we can make okay through nature if you this is actually interesting because uh just now before i did this reading i was asking for signs uh i always ask more than one um because I, I like to ask a, a sign for yes and i like to ask for a sign for no so i know like a specific answer and i i know that we'll get one uh either way and i won't like second guess or or be thinking like oh i didn't see the sign does that mean that it's a yes does that mean that it's a no does that does that mean that it they just didn't want to give me so i always like to give two signs for the universe to give me an answer um and actually the signs that i asked were all animal related so nature uh and i feel like this could also be a little bit of your sign because i also have a capricorn aquarius moon uh, this could be a little bit of your sign, like, hey, ask for a sign regarding nature, animals, whatever you want, okay, uh, and they will provide it to you, okay, so if you need a little bit of reassurance, like, hey, I want this to happen, I want to be a doctor, am I on the right path, ask for that sign, okay, but let's get here into love and see if someone is getting pregnant uh, this month, we have transformation, dude, dude, Things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing, and we have star, dude, someone is getting pregnant this month, okay, just saying, star mother, how can you mother yourself, so if, if that doesn't really apply, because that is not going to apply for everyone, uh, for some of you, your single has a Pringle, and with no prospects of love, so how are you going to get pregnant, um, so that doesn't really apply, it could be this thing of like the new conception, the, the, um, the new concept, that, that would be, a good way to put it uh the new beginnings in career but when it comes to love i feel like there's also the birth of something because this gives me lots of springy vibes and then we have transformation and star mother so there's definitely some new cycles here in your love life for some of you the new cycles are a baby uh congrats if that is the case and if you've been trying uh this is a great sign for you but i feel like there is i, I feel like there's transformation within you um in a general level, you know, I feel like there is for everyone uh, that are watching this reading, when it comes to your love life, I don't think it's necessarily about a relationship or a person. It's really about you this month. And I feel like it's not that, um, I don't know, I feel like often we get a bit of self-care and self-love kind of theme in love readings, uh, for especially for the monthly readings. I don't think that is necessarily the case because whether you are in a relationship or not, I feel like this is you. Not necessarily like, hey, take care of yourself, you know, heal yourself. You need to heal some things for love to be able to come in. I don't think that's necessarily the the focus and I don't think that a relationship is necessarily the focus I feel like what they're wanting to bring attention here to is your growth I feel like perhaps for a very long time you freed yourself again whether you are in a relationship or not I feel like you freed yourself I feel like you feel confident I feel like you are more powerful and independent and a self-believer and so I feel like this is more about your relationship with yourself again not in a self-love and hey for you to find love you need to heal yourself nothing like that. I feel like it's really about how your relationship with yourself is going to change and how much more powerful you're going to see yourself as. 
Um, and of course, that is going to affect your uh, outer relationships. And that could mean that, again, there is a new beginning here in your love life. But I really feel like there's this feeling of you really being proud. And I feel like that is the biggest thing here. You're being super, super proud. Now, if the Empress or the Queen of Pentacles shows up, someone is getting definitely pregnant, okay? Uh, and this could also be talking about, like, a friend of yours. Holy shit, look at that, dude. Dude, what the... What, what the heck? What the heck? Mark my words, someone is getting pregnant. It's either you or your partner or uh, someone in your surroundings close to you. But someone is getting pregnant this month. I'm telling you, this is no joke. And now the Empress would come through. That, 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 would, that would be even more nuts. Anything else? What are the odds? What the heck? Okay. We have the Ace of uh, Wands here. Oh, look at this. So beautiful. Ten of Cups. The new moon. Dude. We have the freaking Empress. I, I think that is going to be the title. Someone's getting pregnant. <laughs> Uh, so many signs here, Jesus. But we have the new moon, we have the ten of cups, we have the ace of wands. So again, there is this new story that is becoming of you. Um, and again, this ten of cups can be with someone else, can be beautiful new cycles in love, but I feel like it's a new cycle in you. I feel like you could have been in a bit of a period where maybe we have the queen of wands here too. We, we weren't feeling as confident. Maybe you were putting yourself a little bit down, being too harsh on yourself. I feel like you really found a balance. You know, I feel like you really found something that works for you. Um, and I feel like that has to do with this career too. It's like you believe in yourself so much that you think it's going to happen this way. And what they're asking is like, yeah, believe in yourself and have that end goal in mind. But open up your options, you know, because perhaps you're worthy a bit more than what you think that uh, option A can give you, right? Maybe you think that they're going to give you this and that in the world, and they're not. And the universe is like, hey, you know you deserve more than that. So don't settle. Open your, your options and then let us give you what you know you deserve, okay? So again, when it comes to a bit of a more deeper relationship kind of vibe uh we clearly have here a perfect match we have a beautiful relationship blossoming uh and solidifying uh we have an offer here so again for some of you that are single there could be someone new showing up we have lots of fire energy here um aries and leo especially but let's throw Sag in there we have taurus and capricorn but let's throw uh virgo in there as well um with all of this earthy and fiery energy so maybe even a cusp um uh, a fire earth cusp but beautiful relationship definitely something is it's like you're empowering each other and i feel like both of you have healed it's not about you need healing no you have healed and you're both of you are so confident and powerful and independent and in such a high vibe energy it's just about really appreciating what you can build together because of that Okay, so there are offers, there are new beginnings here. There's definitely a lot of self-belief and confidence, which is beautiful. Uh, I feel like your love life is going to be really peaceful, exciting. It's going to be stable and, and just awesome. Okay, so let's see here. What do we got for advice? In this case, I don't have uh, any pregnancy cards, so <laughs> we can get another extra confirmation. But I mean, we do have love is coming. So again, for those of you looking for love, great. We have 1111. What is your intuition telling you? You need to stop. We have clarity is coming and we have 888. So with this, you need to stop. I feel like it's related to this. Take a break, right? I feel like it's related to this. Just enjoy your time with your family, with your partner, have fun. Uh, and the answer is the clarity is going to come. The clarity is going to get to you. And again, 888, number, number of empowerment, of abundance, um, of personal growth. 1111, number of alignment. So this is you. Your love person is literally saying your relationship is great. You're manifesting someone that is great. And because you're like this, this is happening. Right? So follow your intuition here. Allow yourself to go with the flow. I don't think this is going to be a month a lot for Capricorn. Um, of course, we need that stability and the, I don't know, the the consistency and, and the more practical 
part of stuff, but don't get too logical. Allow yourself to be innovative and allow yourself to have that little bit of a weirdo Aquarius side um, and creative. Be creative, be imaginative, and really lean into your intuition more than anything, okay? So let's get you here just some fun stuff for you to get along with. These are a couple of things that you can do. You can do these alone. You can do these with someone else, whatever you prefer. It's just a little inspiration, okay? So we have over here a sport event. I'm thinking specifically of football, but it doesn't have to be. Oh, goodness. We have Netflix marathon, fancy restaurant. We have cooking class, try something crazy and new, and we have concert. So lots of fun things here. Um, feel free to screenshot this. Uh, first, pause the video. It would be perhaps a little bit better, but pause the video or screenshot this if you want to, to keep as a little reminder uh, throughout the month. I feel like it's going to help you a lot and uh, it could be very interesting for you to dive a little deeper into these things. But this is what I have for you. So thank you so much for being here. Um, if you're interested in getting that personal power rating and see if you are one of the people that are going to get pregnant, <laughs> um, definitely join us on Patreon. We have other exclusive ratings. And now that you're there in the description box below, feel free to check out my merch, my decks, my journals. We do have a new one all about gratitude and a bit of manifestation in it because gratitude is a great vessel for it. And we also have letters that you can write. So uh feel free to explore that it's seeds of gratitude i'm gonna put it on the description box as well so definitely feel free to check that out and we also have my tarot course so definitely check those things out but once again thank you so much for being here i love you very much i wish you the best and hopefully we'll talk very, very soon Bye bye